Hello, my name is Leah McGetrick, and this week I did my case presentation on septic arthritis. Septic arthritis is considered an infection of the joint, and it usually develops in a single joint, and it causes that joint to become swollen, red, painful, and causes a significant decreased range in motion. Quick diagnosis of septic arthritis is very key because delaying it can lead to permanent damage of that joint. The pathophysiology behind this, um, behind septic arthritis, is that it's caused by a blood-borne bacteria. Um, Staphylococcus is the most prominent one, and that causes, um, it gets into the bloodstream, which eventually goes to the joint and causes that infection. There are a lot of risk factors to septic arthritis, the biggest one being age, um, Adults older than 80 years old are the most common people to get septic arthritis. Um, other predispositions like diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, recent surgeries, especially big uh, joint surgeries such as hip replacement, knee replacements, and then um, prosthetics in those joints, as well as um, immunosuppressive medications. It can also be caused by um, like puncture wounds, dog bites, stepping on a nail, that sort of thing. The major signs and symptoms, it's a very clinical presentation. Um, like you see in this picture, it's the redness, swelling, pain in that joint. Um, there's a significant decreased range in motion in that joint. Um, as far as diagnostic testing, like I said, it is very clinical, um, but you can do, there are laboratory tests you can do. The biggest one is the aspiration of the synovial fluid. Um, like I said earlier, the staphylococcus is the most common microorganism. And then depending on the results from that fluid sample you take will determine which antibiotics are used to treat it. Um, serum markers are also important, your ESR, your CRP, and then again, blood cultures just, just to determine which bacteria is causing that source of infection. So these are my references and that is it. Thank you.